Aloha everybody, this is Jesse Showalter with a really quick tutorial today about an issue that goes on with GoDaddy shared hosting. Uh, so I've installed Modix all over on different hosting servers, whether it be you know Bluehost or Dreamhost or Media Temple or any of these places, and only on GoDaddy's shared hosting um, do I find this one little issue. And so uh, to highlight that issue, um, we're going to do really fast forward through the installation process and then you'll be able to see it once we try to log in. So here we go. Okay. So we just did a crazy fast forward installation, had a little bugs, uh, a couple bugs along the way, but here we are. Um, so only on GoDaddy's shared hosting we find this kind of issue. And what happens is if you sign in, um, you will get a half screen. And so hopefully we can recreate that issue right now. And there it is, good old GoDaddy just hooking it up. So when you log in, you'll see that um, Unlike other sites that you might have um, GoDaddy or excuse me, ModX working on under GoDaddy um, hosting, um, you can see if you go to your dashboard um, that you'll have a colored bar up here. Um, that your drop downs will all work, of course. Your dashboard is visible. Your tree is visible. But in this messed up version, this hiccup that GoDaddy kind of forces you, you don't get that colored thing. Um, this stuff up here, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, and you can see your tree and your feeds, none of that stuff works. So it's super just not, not a functional thing. You can clear your cache as many times as you want. And it's not going to work. You can't even click on these, you see. Um, you can't go to system settings, or sometimes you can, but you can't see st system settings anyways. So um, after countless, and I mean countless hours on the phone with GoDaddy, um, and they just, oh, we don't see anything wrong with that. Um, and and finally, you know, it dawned on me, why don't I just go to the ModX forum? So I got a, a response from Bob Ray and a couple other really uh, awesome people over in the ModX forums. And uh, basically it told me to go to um, my database, which I'm looking at here, and go down to uh, ModX uh, system settings. And when I browse those tables, um, somewhere, I'm in PHP my admin right now, um, you can hook up with, uh, you know, like SQL Pro or something like that if you want. Um, but if you go and find the compress settings, this is something you could, if you could access it, turn off in the system settings, but we can't reach it. So to kind of work around this, here in the database, you're going to go to the compressed JS, and you're going to edit that. And it's set as one for true. You want to change that to zero, and you want to go ahead and press go. And then it'll take you back and you want to find the compressed CSS and you want to set that to zero for, for false as well. So now you have your compress, your compression set off, uh, um, uh, set to false. Hopefully if I just refresh, um, I should get, oh, actually you have to go to, after you do that, um, I'm in my core um, and I need to go to my cache. Um, and that will allow me, so what I need to do is delete my cache. Not move, excuse me, delete. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that off of the server. That's the cached file of everything. Okay, and we wanna get rid of that. And hopefully, now that we've deleted the cache, if I refresh, we should get, boom, my site just came back, okay? So now you can go to your dashboard, you can see everything's working. And all we had to do was, remember, delete that compress CSS, or not delete it, but turn it to false. The compressed JavaScript, turn that to false. And then go in your FTP and delete that cache uh, folder. Uh, you want to be in your, yeah, your core cache. And don't worry, as soon as you refresh uh, the, the site itself, it's going to recreate the cache file. So you're all back. Don't, don't be freaked out by deleting the cache. Um, and now your site can be on GoDaddy, up and running, and everything about it can be perfectly fine. Now you can do everything you could do before, um, or you should be able to do. In other uh, instances of this little hiccup, you'll find uh, sometimes the icons will be gone, maybe this whole thing will be functioning. 
um, and, but the icons will be gone and certain functionality might be jacked up in the back end. So just, just remember to, uh, to uncompress those and clear that cache or delete that cache folder and you should be right back on track. And you can use GoDaddy's hosting because it's cheap and it's effective as long as you just know how to do the tweakings. Now when it comes to the compress uh, J, J, uh, JavaScript and CSS, you're not going to get really too much lag, not enough to really, uh, you know, um, notice. Um, unless you're on really, really large sites. And if you're on really, really large sites, you should use better hosting than GoDaddy anyways. You should step up to something a little bit more powerful. Um, so this is just a, a quick fix. I hope that helps anybody out there that has these questions. Aloha.